Okay. I wanted to add something extra to my song. So I'm going to add in a different instrument this time. And I'm going to add in the mini grand. We have a keyboard right there. I'm going to make sure this out to the table. It's going to load up right here. And I'm going to add this to the chorus sections. Oh, look at that. The chorus is right there. that I select the area that I'm going to record let's try it again I gotta make sure my clicker now hmm. why can't I hear it because if we go to our transport Let me click here and play and record so that it is on. Okay. All right. Let's try it one more time. do a little more things we're gonna send some stuff to the reverb remember how we did that before we want to make sure that they're still doing that so let's put this back and the EQ's here watch what happens I click hold shift I hold shift and option, I click, and I'm going to send these on a different school bus, bus 3 and 4. I'm going to call this trip. Well, let's call this home. Everybody's at home right now. We can call that home. That's home. Let's change the color of home. That's home, that's school, all right? Everybody's at home, and they all get EQ'd the same, which means they eat the same food, and they get the same lows, mids, and highs, all right? Then you have this reverb, and that's where some of them have more attention on the school bus than a different one, all right? So that's how aux's work. This is a send, 
this is not telling the whole entire thing to go there it's just a part of it home which is the main output is always going to be everything then they all go out and we're going to have them all sum to pi to 6 which I am going to call main now they're all going out of main. Main, I'm going to get rid of its color. So I know exactly what it is. That's our main out. Okay. This is going to listen to that. Okay. This listens to this and this. Okay. Main going to main. Out into input. This channel is listening to the school bus. This channel listens to home. All right. If I were to color all these the same, it might help me out as far as organization so I can really see what's going on. Now we're going to add something cool, which is the voice. So I press Command and Shift N, add a new mono audio track. I'm going to say input one. Now I'm recording there. And let's record some music. Now, you have to make sure that your mic's plugged in on the back. To the input one, turn the volume up there if you're using a condenser microphone, which is one of those cool looking ones with a big circle, and you can see through your microphone usually. You're going to press the 48B, which is the phantom power, and that may be on your inbox too or another device that you're using. So that's what we got. Now, I want to copy my chorus over. You see how this is a little bit different than these? It's because it's the audio channel. But I'm going to copy the chorus. So let me select that area. And a little bit before, so I can catch what happened there. Command E, so it separates. I'm going to hold Option. I can drag. And I'm going to look at the back end here and make sure that that is right on line so let's see And I'm going to add some ad libs. Uh oh. We have that problem again. Let's go to setup. Playback engine. So let's set this. 
Sword is Islands. Cool be back, sir. Let me move this. some effects on my own voice. Let's do this chorus. I'm going to raise the volume up just a little bit. I'm going to make sure that it's clear. But instead of doing the volume here, right next to it and I'm gonna call this voice okay so let's call it voice with a space all right I'm gonna send some of it on that school bus because it goes to the reverb Why is it not going? Oh, maybe because the voices have to be sent to the voice aux. Shift option, click. We're going to make a new one. 7, 8. This is going to see 7, 8. And usually people put V O X for voice. We This right here we is what's called a pressure. I'm going to move it right to where my voice gets We tight. breathe the same, man. Right. So we this breathe way, the same. Turn down the volume. So, so this, this ratio we tells me how hard man. it turns it down. We breathe the same. We breathe the same. We breathe the same. We breathe the same, man. We breathe the same. We breathe the same, man. 
we to happen right after I finish transcripting it now that some of this is right and this is going to be delayed you're going to find out what a delay does in just a second here you go desktop, your folder, where your song is, 
the main property. This is version two. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. We had a clip. Gotta get rid of that. Save. Right off the beat. Boom. Now, quick thing though, before you do that, some people may press command shifts may go to save as to save it as something different so you know that this is a mixed version now usually i would have done that way before we started adding vocals and stuff but for purposes of this as long as you know it's there Alright guys, now it's time to make some really good tracks. We're going to have some more interesting tips that you can use to make your beats really, really pop out. 